What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing another Paradox Pokemon, this time rocking out with Slitherwing. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Considering we are showcasing every single Paradox Pokemon on this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you do not miss out. But before we get started here with today's team preview, gotta give a huge shout out to Jan. Jan, thank you so much for making this team for me and making it a rental code for everybody else to use. This team features Slitherwing and a crazy combo with it. We got Symbiosis Forges. If you guys do not know what Symbiosis does, it passes the item to a Pokemon or ally Pokemon without an item being held. So once Slitherwing hops into battle, it's going to use up its booster energy for its protosynthesis. Then it's gonna be left with no item. You pair it up with Florges at the same time, Florges will then use Symbiosis and pass over to Life Orb to Slitherwing, making this thing ridiculously strong. So cannot wait to showcase that combo and get rocking with this team. But in the top left hand corner, we'll get started here with today's team preview. We got the one and only Talonflame. Talonflame is just absolutely amazing all across the ladder. It has Gale Wings alongside that Covert Cloak so it can't be faked out. It's got Tailwind, Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, and Sunny Day to set the weather to proc Protosynthesis on both our uh, Paradox Pokemon. Second Pokemon is going to be that Slitherwing, Volcarona's Pass Form. Really cool looking, I absolutely love it. It is Fighting and Bug Type with Fire Terror, then tracking First Impression, Close Combat, Flare Blitz, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be, or not bottom left hand corner, middle left is going to be for Frigorath over here. Frigorath is still going to be an absolute beast at countering and setting up Trick Room at the same time, considering it has an amazing ability and amazing stats all around. It's got Armor Tail and Throat Spray as item and ability, Rock and Hyper Voice, Twin Beam, Imprison, and Trick Room. Fourth Pokemon is going to be our Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon has been seen all across the casual ladder at the moment, but I feel like everybody's going to be using it around considering it is just so good all around. It has Pro Synthesis as its ability, Citrus Berry as item, Hitting with Throw Chop, Dragon Claw, Acrobats, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Florges, and like I already mentioned, the combo with that and so the ring, but Florges is pretty solid on its own. It hits hard with the Moon Blast, it can heal Pokemon with Palm Puff, has Helping Hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage. It's just all around a beast. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Meowth and I don't think you guys are going to be seeing less of Meowth when Series 2 comes around, considering Meowth is just great all around. Seriously, really, really strong with the Focus Ash, just like we have it here. It's rocking Overgrow, and then move set. it's fairly normal with Flower Trick, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Slitherwing team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against arguably the best team from Series 1. So hopefully we can showcase this Pokemon in Series 2 and show just how much stronger they are than the Series 1 Pokemon. But like I said, going up against Heavy Meta Squad, Golden Go, Garchomp, Mousehold, Annihilate. Probably will see that combo as lead, and then he's rocking Murkrow and Hyzgon as his final two Pokemon. So how do I want to go into this one? I definitely want to see Sl Slytherin stats first, because it is decently fast. Its attack stat is great, but first impression is an amazing move. Really amazing move. We got EVs fully invested into attack and speed. So we can kind of just get after it that way. But do I roll Slytherwing? Maybe Talonflame? That could be pretty good because I can first impression turn one and always get in floor just and hand over that life form. I'm liking that. We're going to go Talonflame. We are going to go my boy Slytherwing. And then we are going to rock in the floor just. And last but not least, do I go Meowth Garada or do I go Warren Moon? I really like Warren Moon here. I really do. We're going to be super effective onto a lot, but we just have to probably save Terra for that. But we're just going to rip in it with that. Lock it in, lock it down. Look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I'm super excited to use Slitherwing. Pokemon that I haven't used yet, and I absolutely love its design. I feel like the past forms look cooler than the uh, the future forms. And for the only reason is because all the future forms kind of look similar. They're all that steel, like, you know, chrome looking type. Whereas the past forms are looking really dope. They all got their own original design. I feel like they look amazing all around. Because look at Slitherwing. Oh my god, that thing looks sick. It looks so much better than the original Volcarona. It really does. But my attack's gonna be heightened here. Um, I could rip into a first impression. I feel like Coach Combat's gotta be your play. I think we have to drop the Mouse Hold. I think Mouse Hold has gotta go. Do we think it's Sash? It could be. It could be. I'm gonna Tailwind set up here. Do I protect Slytherwing first turn? I don't even think I can, actually. Do you have Protect? You do. I could protect you turn one, because I feel like a Pop Bomb's coming here. You know what? Screw it. We're going straight into close combat. I'm going to set up Tailwind here. I'm going to try to get rid of this Mouse Hold. He's going to withdraw the Mouse Hold. That's a beautiful swap in the Golden Go, probably. Garchomp. Okay, I don't mind hitting up this Garchomp with the close combat. 
I really do not mind that. I do not mind that. That's not bad for us. That is not bad for us at all. So we're going to see matching tailwinds. I thought he was going into a ghost type Pokemon. It's fine by me. That's fine by me. Close combat flying here. Chipping up some big time damage. We do have Town Flame, which will outspeed. My defense is down. Um, hmm. I could swap Slitherwing here if I want to. I could definitely do that. I might just protect him. And, I mean, no, we outspeed Garchomp, so I'm not worried about it. I mean, I can drop it with Brave Bird all day. But yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go into... We go to another close combat. Could just start chipping up on things, right? Having Slitherwing do work. Yeah, minus one close combat. It's going to do the most damage. And then just uh, Brave Bird and Garchomp. Unless he has Quash. That, that would be my only problem. But I don't think this Mercos Rock and Quash. Yep, Brave Bird's going to fly. Bye-bye, Garchomp. And we're going to go from there. Okay. I'm fine with that. Slitherwing getting after it in match number one. The close combat's going to fly. Actually, Mercos probably outspeeds. So we'll see what Mercos wants to do. Probably a foul play. He's going to taunt me. He taunt my Town Flame after I got off the Tailwind. Big mistake. Slitherwing's chilling here. Drop a close combat. Ripping up some damage. Look at my boy Slitherwing getting after it. His defense is in the thumbs. I might have to hard swap it. But we'll see. It really depends on what Pokemon it goes into. Because if Slitherwing can outspeed it, then I'm just going to leave him in there. Let's see. Let's see. He going into Mousehold. Uh, hmm, that one's close. That one's real close. I feel like we just have to throw a close combat. I wish I can use first impression. That move is really strong. But yeah, I'm just going to rip another close combat and then go Brave Bird into the left slot. Seems pretty simple. Because obviously Talonflame is the fastest on the field. We're just ripping doing this. Close combat's Brave Bird. Yo, my nose is so itchy right now. I keep itching it. It's annoying me. But it's all good. We're winning battles. We're winning battles. Show me outspeed Volcarona. We're not Volcarona. That's what I was afraid of turn one. That's what he should have done. That's what he sure should have done. But I thought Slitherwing would have had a chance to outspeed him. But I had an odd feeling that Mousehold is a tad bit faster. But that's all good. Slitherwing doing absolute work onto the Garchomp. Onto that, uh... Onto that, uh... What is it? The Murkrow. And now we're sitting here. So from here, I could go into you. Or I could go into a faster type Pokemon. Which would probably be you. I'd rather use you. This thing is, if I use Citrus Berry, then I can go into uh, Floridus and hand over that Life Orb too. Because Symbiosis can work onto this Pokemon too. But yeah, you are very fast. I'm going to go right into you. And I might Terra here too. I might Terra. I might have to double down to Mousehold at this point. Right? Mousehold seems like the problem. A lot of Pokemon is going to be Hydreigon. Definitely going to Terrasilize here. And we're just going to roll after it. So yeah, I'm going to Terra here. Get a straight flying. And what would do more? Right now, Throw Chop does more. Right now, Throw Chop does more than Acrobats until we get rid of our item. So I'm just going to go Throw Chops here, right in the mouse hold, and I'm, I'm doubling down into it. I'm doubling down into it. I am doubling down into this lovely little mouse hold. We're probably going to see Terrasilize come out from the Hydreigon slot too, but my Roaring Moon is faster, which is really, really good. So we're coming out here, hopping into a Flying Terra. Just so Dragon types are not super effective onto us. And I think we're going pretty strong in match number one. Like I said, yo. Paradox Pokemon are where it's at. They're super, super strong. He's going to end up terrasilizing as well. Again, I think it's going to be the Hydreigon. I don't mind if it's the Hydreigon. Because what are you going to change to? Yeah, it's Hydreigon. You change the Poison. Jolly Roger. No, straight steel. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I don't, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. Not one bit. I mean, if I get Talonflame, we're going to be... If we have Talonflame next turn, we'll be fine. Because Talonflame's <laughs> ripping. Talonflame is just ripping with Brave Birds and Flare Blitz. Throw Chop coming out here. I'm saying bye bye to Mousehold. Hopefully, this thing is going after my Hydreigon. Because if it's not, we are sitting in such a tough spot. Drake Amelia. Cool, in the Hydreigon. That's totally fine because. Wow, okay. I was going to say, you should be able to eat it, but of course you get a crit. Of course you get a crit. I'm kind of fine with it considering I still have my Talonflame right now, and Talonflame can hit this thing like a truck with Flare Blitz. And we know he outspeed it, but I cannot believe he got a crit there. I was going to say, yeah, we should be able to eat up this Draco meter. And that thing just ripped into me. It's okay. We have Floridus here. And I think it's just a helping hand, right? I think it's just a helping hand. Flare Blitz can just finish this one off. This floor just isn't really going to do anything. I mean, I can Pollen Puff it if need be. But yeah, helping hand into Flare Blitz should just finish off this match. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Helping hand coming out here. Give him the little clap skis and Talon Flame and Slithering ripped and did a bunch of damage in match number one. And this should KO, no problem. Super effective, stab, helping hand boost it. Yeah, we love it.
Good thing we had floor just in the back end. Give us a little bit of a boost there to take out the Hydreon. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 and to get us started. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a few Paradox Pokemon. We're going up against Brute Bonnet, Iron Valiant, and Flutter Main. Alongside with Udonzo. Uh, what is that? Golden Go and Torkoal. So Torkoal can pop the Protosynthesis for two Pokemon. The Brute Bonnet and the uh, Flutter Main. So maybe gotta watch out for that. But I feel like going into Slitherwing and Symbiosis Forges. Rocking into that, hitting a first impression with the Life Orb and the Booster Energy. I feel like that's pretty solid. I feel like that can definitely be pretty solid. So I'm going to end up leading those two. Does he have any way for Speed Control? It seems like no, right? It seems like no. I am going to be bringing in... They're going with Moon. Or Miyashira. I'm going to go Miyashira. I'm going to go Miyashira and Moon. Where do I go Talonflame for back end support? Talonflame's not bad here. I mean, Talonflame gets some work done. Especially if they set the Sun. Ooh, a back in town flame, but you know what? If they're gonna set the sun, War Moon's gonna be just as good with the Protosynthesis pop. I'm rocking with them. I'm rocking with no speed control because I don't really think they have speed control, right? Like, looking at his team, can any of them pop trigger? Maybe Flutter Man can pop trigger. Brute Bonnet might be able to too. Really scary. I don't really know what Brute Bonnet does, but we'll see. We'll see. I feel like it's just an Amoongus on steroids, right? <laughs> it just makes sense. It definitely makes sense. But yeah, I'm getting out Slitherwing here. I'm getting out Forges here. We're going to pop Symbiosis. Slitherwing, after it uses its booster energy, is going to have that life form. So I can First Impression, which is a 90 base power stab bug move, alongside with the booster energy, alongside with the life form. And I can help in hand it if I want to as well. So I want to get rid of Pokemon. I feel like I have, I have a free turn to do it. I feel like I have a free turn to do it. But if you guys are interested in building me teams, I'm still looking for the other Paradox Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. Looking for Iron Hands right now. Looking for a full-blown Flutter main team. Who else am I looking for? Ancient Tusk. There was a few more that I wanted to name. There was a few more, but if you guys if you guys have the Paradox Pokemon that I haven't used yet, definitely get them to me. Definitely get them to me. But, oh, Iron Jugulus is one of them, too. Definitely one of them. But they go through Donto. Alongside Iron Valiant. And... I feel like we just first impression, right? Helping hand. Because you should have... The life orb now. Yeah, you got the life orb now. You can probably even see it here. Yeah, see, you have the life orb now. Use the boost energy. I feel like we do that, this, and I feel like we help a hand this. Or we can moon blast it. I feel like we just moon blast this. Yeah, we gotta moon blast this slot. We have to. It's an absolute must. So we'll see what our opponent wants to do. I was going to uh terrasize in a fire, but having Dodonto on the field is a decent problem. But first pressure is gonna fly here and look at that damage. That's some big time damage right there. That's some big time damage. And this thing's gonna set up a reflect. Okay, so reflect gets set up. It's not gonna neglect any of this Moonblast damage here. Moonblast is going to just rip into Iron Valiant. So Iron Valiant out for the count. It's a hot start for us, but I wonder what the is gonna do here. They do have reflect, which kinda sucks. And Wave Crash is gonna come in here. Can you eat this up? You cannot. So Slytherin goes out here, getting some work done. I'll take that from Slytherin, considering this thing's gonna take a nice chunk of recoil damage. And we got rid of Iron Valiant. And it took life orb damage. Okay. So from here, you can be reply. Or do I get Moon? I'm just gonna go Miascarada. I'm gonna go Miascarada and see who he's gonna end up bringing out. So Mischievous is gonna come out here, or Flutter Main. And we're gonna throw out a Miascarada, which I don't really mind. I think I have to terror you at this point. <clears throat> and I could pop a Flower Trick, I could Go into a knockoff, go into a sucker punch. What do I want to do here? I mean, if I'm tearing the grass, I might as well go into this. I'm going to terrasize in the grass, and I feel like just a straight moon blast <clears throat> can finish off this Dodonzo. And we know Floor just outspeeds, which is pretty solid. So Flutter Main is out and about. Flutter Main is hands down faster than all the, all the Pokemon on the field. Actually, me Alcarada has a chance of outspeeding, but I think Flutter Main's speed is ridiculously high in like the 200s. So. I think it just goes first. And I think it pops a fairy move. That's exactly why we're terrestrializing. I have to try to get rid of this Pokemon before I bring out my Roar Moon because I feel like Roar Moon kind of clean up this battle afterwards. Because Florgus will take out the Donzo no problem. Miascarada can always Sucker Punch after this turn to try to get rid of that uh, Flutter Main. So I kind of like where we're sitting. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. Because again, I do think the Flutter Main is going for a Thousand Gleam. Some sort of fairy move on the board, right? It makes the most sense. So we're going to end up Terrasalize near straight grass type in, so fairy moves are neutral now. And we do have a focus dash anyway, but still. Well, he's going to end up Terrasalizing as well. What are you Terrasalizing into? What typing? Flutter main into what? Water. Okay, straight fairy. I can deal with that. I can deal with straight fairy. 
The loss is ghost typing. That's fine. And flower trick's gonna pop out here. Flower trick. Oh, we outspeed that thing. Wow. That actually surprised me. The big time outspeed from us. Flower trick just bringing this thing down to Sash. We love it. We love it. So Sash is out and about. Sashy Sash is out and about. And Gleam's gonna fly here. Gleam's gonna do a nice chunk of damage. I think Floor just should be able to soak, right? Both of you guys soak pretty well. And you get a crit on my Floor, just leave it alone. Gloom Blast comes out here. Dodonzo. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. We're not dealing with Dodonzo in Series 2. We're, get, we're just getting rid of him. We're just ripping onto him. But it's good to know that my Meowski Rider straight up outspeeds his Flutter. That's huge. That's huge. He's gonna bring out Golden Go. Cannot tear him. My War Moon can one shot that, no problem. I'm with it all day. We'll sucker punch you. And I think I just protect you. We know I'm making rains flying here. Now, the problem here would be if he protects Flutter Me. That would be a problem. But it's not because uh, Flutter Me's protect would have came out there first. Sucker Punch is flying. We're getting rid of that Pokemon. Same bye bye. And then, yeah, if Make It Rain comes out here, we protect our floor just. Our Miascarada goes down. We bring out Roaring Moon, and it's just GG. Because, again, one throw chop's going to take it out. It cannot terrestrialize its type. There's the Make It Rain. Saw the play. 60,000 miles away. Your boy Jeans is buzzing here in match number one. So Make It Rain comes out here. Our floor just survives due to that protect. And then Miascarada soaks. But, yeah, now I can just help hand again, just like we did in match number one. Come down to the wire. We're going to make sure we get this kill. We're going to go into a throw trap. We're going to help him hand this move. Get this thing on out of here. And that thing is minus one, so I don't even think it can one-tap my Roaring Moon. I don't think it can do it, but yo. Awesome battle from us. Throw trap coming in hot. It's stab. It's super effective. Give it the helping hand boost. GG game over. GG game over. Great match from us. Slitherwing doing some work here. Miascarada getting some work done. And Floor just getting some work done here, too. one tap and Oh, we don't pick up the KO. That's actually wild. Okay, like I said, Warren Moon should be able to eat. Wow, we don't pick up the KO. We do not pick up the KO? That is very surprising. Oh, there's a Reflect on the field. There's a Reflect on the field. I totally forgot about that. Iron Valiant popped that turn one. So that half the damage of that physical attacking shot there. Totally forgot about that. That was that would have been wild. But now battle was canceled. 2-0 to get the, our video started. I think I just paired up with the same exact opponent. Really, really weird, but really cool at the same time. I'm hoping it's not the same opponent, but it's definitely the exact same team. Brute Bonnet, Don Dozo, Golden Go, Iron Valiant, Torkoal, and Fluttermane. I'm hoping they bring out the Brute Bonnet here. I definitely want to go into Slitherwing alongside of Forges because I'm having too much fun with the Slitherwing, and I'm trying to showcase it in today's video. So I'm going to go to them too. I definitely want Miascarada in this battle. Actually, do I definitely want Miascarada? I end up, yeah. I definitely want Miascarada, and then last but not least, something to get after that Torkoal, right? But Torkoal's a pain. Torkoal's a pain. Do I go Frigoraph, or do I keep up Forges? Or I gotta go Warm Moon again. I gotta go same squad. I gotta give him the work again. I gotta slap him up. We're going for the perfect record with Slitherwing. Even if I don't get out the other Pokemon, like I didn't get out Frigoraph in today's video, you guys seen it plenty of times in Series 1. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Today's video is all about Slitherwing and showcases Slitherwing. So we're gonna get out this Pokemon again and get ripping with it. Get ripping with it, but that thing did some big time damage onto uh that Don Dozo in match number one. Half its health? That's a huge shot. That's a huge shot. And I wasn't gonna help him hand it, but it was a good call for me just going to the moon blast and just rip into it. But I'm not sure if this is the same opponent. I'm, I gotta guess it's the same opponent, right? Maybe if I see it's uh their character or their card, it is the same opponent. That is exactly I remember that card. I remember that trainer card. So it's the same opponent. He knows what we have, we know what he has. This should be a solid match number two. Let's see who they end up leading. It's gonna be Torkoal. I think it's a problem. I don't first impression rip into it. Drought is here, so Wave Crash is gonna do less damage. I could Thrasilize into Fire if I want to, but there's really no point for me doing that. Actually, there is a point. Actually, no, there's no point, because we're just gonna first impression. Do we first impression? I think we close combat. We have the Orb. I think we just help in hand. We try to get rid of Torkoal. Torkoal's a problem. I think it's a problem. Not too worried about Don Dozo here. I really am not. I gotta get after the Torky. The turtle is a problem every single time. So Helping Hand flies out here. We're boosting our Slitherwing's attack damage. And we're gonna try to get rid of the Torky. Close combat flying here. Can we dump on it? We do not. Ooh, is it going for an eruption? That could be good if it's going for an eruption. Let's see what he goes after. Oh, it has a berry too. How dare you have the berry? How dare you? Slitherwing's doing some crazy big damage. First impression could have came out here again, but 
Do not need a heat wave. Oh. Oh, Slytherwing gone. Should have probably tarred in a fire. But it's alright. It's alright. It's a uh, avalanche coming out here. Let's see if we're avalanche. We're able to eat that, which is solid. And we have speed on these Pokemon. Okay, so this is a simple Miascarada play, right? This is a simple go into Miascarada. We have the Focus Ash if Heat Wave ends up landing, but I'm hoping that Moonblast can maybe pick up the KO onto that bulky Torkoal, right? I don't think it can, but it's going to be close. But still, we have Focus Ash just in case. So I'm going to go in here. I could protect you. I could protect it. I am going to protect Forges. I'm going to use my Focus Ash here. I am going to use my Focus Ash here. So I'm going to protect my Forges. We're going to deal some damage onto Dondozo. Maybe even KO it. This thing hits hard. Masquerade is a beast. We don't KO. This thing's too bulky. The bulky. The bulky boy right there. And Heat Wave's going to fly here. So Heat Wave brings us down to Sash. We're hoping he doesn't double down to Miascarada. Because if, if he does, we are we're sitting in a tough spot. He does. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Now we're sitting here left with Roaring Moon. Can the moon be that guy? I feel like the moon can help us clutch this one up. So we're sitting here. We have speed all day. Like speed is not a problem. Speed is not a problem. And my Protosynthesis pops. Thank you for sunlight. Awesome, awesome, awesome. My attack is heightened. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Ripping into this thing with Dragon Claw. Finish that thing off. And then just Moonblast KO. Okay. So again, we are faster than all these Pokemon. We are faster. I doubt it goes into a Fluttermane swap. Fluttermane is going to be a problem. Because Fluttermane... Actually, I don't think Fluttermane is going to be able to outspeed me. Because their Fluttermane did not outspeed my Miyashiro out of last match. That could be good. But we know it has Focus Ash, which is tough news. We do not KO. Oh. We don't KO. We don't KO the Torky. Not the Turtle. Can we dodge a Heat Wave? Can we dodge a heat wave? Please, thank you. Heat wave coming in here. Can we dodge it? Okay, my Pokemon eat rather well. Really well, actually. Really well. Okay, so we know Forge out speeds. I feel like. Ah, this is tough. This is tough. Who are you going into? Root Bonic. Okay, cool. Root Bonic comes out here. Post since this popping and defense is how you move. I'm going to go into an Acrobats here. Acrobats and Moonblast. I could double down on that, but I gotta get rid of. I gotta get rid of Torkoal somehow. You know, what? I'm just gonna protect Forges here. I'm just gonna protect Forges. We're gonna prote protect Forges. Drop an Acrobats. We're, we're hoping our uh, Citrus Berry can get popped this turn. Because at that point, we get double damage rolling. Do I still have Terrasilize? I think I do. I think I do. That thing, of course, is weakest policy popped. That's gonna hurt the soul. What are you doing? You're gonna spore me? Come on now. Come on now. Spore me like that. That ain't cool. That's not cool at all. If I get spored down, Heat Wave's gonna fly here. And I have Terra, and I'm saving my Terra right now. I am saving my Terra. I thank Brute Bonnet. Oh, I dodged the Heat Wave. That's big time. Okay, so we dodged the Heat Wave. We are going into more Acrobats. Again, I still have Terrestrialization, but I don't wanna use it just yet. Considering we, uh, we eat up some of these moves. Who do I go after here? Can we KO this thing? I don't think we KO the Torkoal. I'm gonna go for it though. Let's so go after the Brute Bonnet. What typing are you, Brute Bonnet? I really want to see. You straight grass? What are you? Grass and dark. We go for. Oh no, we want to go for it. I do want to go after you, actually, Torkoal. But I do want to go after you with Palm Puff. Actually, why wouldn't I use Moonblast? It's Stab. That was dumb. That was dumb. But it's all good. Trailblaze coming out here. I think it outspeeds me. Okay, we're dead. And it gets a speed boost. That hurts soul. Okay, is there any way we can win this match? I mean, Terraing. We can KO the Brute Bonnet. Body Press coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have Citrus Berry. I have Citrus Berry. Who do we KO here, though? We have to KO the Torkoal. My pro since this is gone now. And yours is gone, so your defense is not boosting anymore. But I'm going to Terrasilize here. 
I'm gonna try to get rid of the Torkoal because Torkoal is just hard. Actually, I probably should have went after Brute Bonnet. We're sitting here in a tough, tough spot. Match number two is gonna go to our opponent, looks like. Definitely looks like that. We got our Terra cooking now. Acrobats is base 110. Stab. Actually, double damage because it's Rasalization. Actually, no, it's not double, it's 1.5. Wormoon's still asleep. God dang, Spore, dude. Brute Bonnet's the same as a Moongus, just on steroids. Like I said, Trailblaze gonna come out here, and that ends up KOing us. Wow. I thought we'd be able to eat up a Trailblaze, but it's all good. Match number two goes to our opponent, the Brute Bonnet, and that Torkoal just absolutely rips into us. And we go 2 and 1 for today's video. Had a blast using Slitherwing on the ladder today. Definitely a lot of fun and a really cool Pokemon. It is Fighting and Bug, and its moveset is absolutely amazing. You get first impression, you get close combat, Flare Blitz, all around, absolutely amazing. And its design, top tier. Definitely a top tier Paradox Pokemon. Absolutely love using it and love grabbing some wins with it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.